I uh, received, I went to the bookstore to pick up these two books. I had no clue what they would be. I was figuring a textbook or, you know, something that we'd be having to write down in. I didn't know what they'd be. And they're these two books. I was like, just regular books. Um, and this, this is what we went over. This was the majority of what we went over in class was the book, um, The Shadows by Nicholas Carr. Um, his three main points that stood out to me, or what his three main points were, um, was the technology, internet and reading, and uh, internet, the impact of internet and memory. And for the internet and reading part, that's how the internet affected actual books. Um, people no longer enjoy, or I'm not saying everyone, but the majority of people don't enjoy reading and um, the deep reading, no one really experiences that anymore. They just skip and skim around um, because that's the way we get our information on the internet. Um, this was all explained in his book. And then that's the technology guy, Little Robot. <laughs> and. Um, Pretty much what he was explaining is how technology plays a major role on um, your brain and how it affects. Yeah. Um, in this past, we read The Shallows by Nicholas Carr, which is what I was just talking about, about the scriptulia continua. And in this book, he talks a lot about, um, he talks a lot about the internet, what is it doing to our brains. And I remember when we first got this book, we were all interested to find out what is the internet doing to our brains. So it was a fun book to read. We talked about, um, we, he talks about the how like our brains are becoming more shallower. They don't want to read long pieces of reading. Um, they're more distracted because we're used to getting more information really, really fast. So, um, it, it was a really good book to read, and I'm glad I read it. Um, I would recommend it to anybody that would be interested in finding out what the internet is doing to our brains. Um, we read, uh, we did, we read The Everyday Writer, this one. <clears throat> so now I want to go into about the first book. The Shallow, What the Internet is Doing to Our Brain, written by Nicholas Carr. This is of chapter four. Chapter four, a few things that I've read about it was about reading and writing that it began in 2500 BC, about the clay tablets and about the wax tablets. How back then, how, and about Gutenberg's printing press. These are just a few things that we had to work on for our worksheets. And these are some of the things that the class had to work on too. This is one thing that we did in class. Now, if you can read that, that's pretty impressive. But I sure as I can read it at first. The thing is that this is how it was back in the 1800s to where they had to actually read it this way, with no spaces in between the sentences. <clears throat> So they either had people that couldn't read it, or they had people, of, they had their slaves read it to them. <clears throat> I want to go into our blogs. As I said before, we had to do blogs. Well, I did a response on the chapter four blog, a statement of what what I thought of this chapter, of what my in, 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 uh, implemented ideas were. We had to pick out either some that we agree with, some we disagree with in this form. And then I wanted to go into that we had to do oral and written. It's about oral and written cultures. Well, the thing is that that's led into our essay. Our essay was about an oral, was about oral speech. Our oral speech was about what would it be 